There is a certain degree of queerness built into skateboarding. I explore how LGBT plus communities use this queerness to forge a unique identity and space in a largely heteronormative domain. Much of skateboarding involves manipulating the unintended and often unwanted potentials of public space. It requires interacting with the world in unconventional ways and imagining alternative possibilities. In this sense, skateboarding may be considered a queer practice. Like skateboarding, queerness is also about alternative potential. It is not just sexuality and gender. In more abstract terms, queerness means non-normativity. It rejects what is and imagines what else could be. It is about conceiving other ways of being in the world. Yet queerness is not simply a being, but a doing. That is, the radical queer subject acts back on the world in transformative ways. I use the ideas of queer futurity and failure to explore the transformative queer potential of skateboarding. Futurity is a critical and utopian hope for other futures that offers a powerful critique of the present. And failure is one tool or technique of futurity. This intentional failure to adhere to convention is a way of opting out of restrictive norms. I base my analysis of queer skateboarding on Jose Munoz's interpretation of queer performers like Fred Herco. Herco's dance company was bizarre, unrefined, and amateur. They failed the taste of classical dance but through this failure helped usher in a new era of postmodern dance. Like Herco, queer skateboarding fails the taste of straight skateboarding in order to create something new. Subcultural identities such as skater are often expected to be prioritized by members over other forms of identification. But to make skater one's primary identity, may only work for those already in line with the straight male assumption of a skater. Hence, queer skaters are doing skateboarding and being skateboarders in a way that can produce an alternative hybrid identity and community. In skateboarding, style would be analogous to taste. The top shows Gino Iannucci, who has one of the most celebrated styles in skateboarding. He is fast, smooth, and flows. His movements are effortless and minimal. On the bottom, queer skater Peach Sorensen tinkers, jerks, and stutters. She interrupts the straight motion of skateboarding as much as possible. Her tricks are marked by excess. They are difficult to identify and challenge the practice of labeling altogether. In this way, her skating is distinctly queer. Queer skaters and inclusive skate groups like Pave the Way, Sibling, and Skate Like a Girl are transforming skateboarding. They are creating events, media, and communities by and for non-normative skaters. Now, queer skateboarding is increasingly being recognized, included, and supported by major figures in the dominant industry. This is not to say skateboarding has resolved its heteronormativity or homophobia or that only skaters who identify as queer can embody this style. Rather, I explored how queer skaters have been able to generate and access hybrid identities. In this way, queer skaters may more meaningfully incorporate their queerness into skateboarding and produce a more inclusive version of skateboarding for the future. With the conventional style of skateboarding, progression is more measurable. Jumping down 10 stairs was impressive, then 15, now 25. It can slip into a narrow pursuit of bigger, higher, faster. The queer style, even when performed by straight skaters, as in this clip, widens possibilities by emphasizing creativity, innovation, and uniqueness over linear progress. This may also make queer skating more accessible, generally being more oriented toward play, parody, and participation it may be less intimidating and exclusive, with fewer skill-oriented barriers to entry or status. As such, queer skating offers the hope of a more diverse future for skateboarding. Mm -hmm.